Pulmonary thromboendarterectomy is the standard surgical treatment for chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension known in short as CTEPH if the surgical risk is reasonable to tolerate a prolonged surgery. The center and surgeon should also have adequate annual volume of cases to maintain competence. Pulmonary thromboendarterectomy is a technically challenging procedure and hence the importance of operator's annual volume of procedures in maintaining competence. The surgery involves dissection of the entire pulmonary vascular tree with the patient under circulatory arrest with profound hypothermia. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. To have good outcome with surgery, careful patient selection meticulous surgical technique and excellent postoperative care are needed. True endarterectomy and not just embolectomy have to be performed in all affected pulmonary segments. Successful surgery improves ventilation perfusion mismatch, right ventricular function and reduces pulmonary hypertension and tricuspid regurgitation. CTEPH may occur in about 4% of patients after an episode of acute pulmonary thromboembolism over a one year period. There are persons with CTEPH who do not have distinct previous history of acute pulmonary embolism as well. CTEPH has a poor long term prognosis with 3 year mortality of 90% in severe cases with mean PA pressure of 50 mm of mercury or more. Hence the importance of pulmonary thromboendarterectomy in selected suitable cases. Here are some important journal references for the topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.